All right, folks, back from my lunch, <laughs> and uh, let's play some more Caves of Kurt. So, we're 26 strata deep in the underground. We are a horned tortoise, basically the, the pre-made build. So this is not a particularly interesting character, but I just felt like playing some Caves of Kurt after a while. And, um, yeah. So yeah, there we go. So the plan right now is to get to level 30, get this character to level 30. We're going to stay until in the underground until we get there and not die. You know, always one of the important things is to not die. Okay. I think we're going to stay at this height. There's no reason to go further down. Okay, we can't continue there. Maybe we can go north? Yes, we can. And we have to dig. Where is that? Tools. Sometimes it would be nice to have kind of like quick slots for this. You know, so you can just quickly change to the pickaxe, something like that. You know, maybe like save presets for the equipment. And this, what are you? Vacuum turret, okay. Interesting. Uh, that's a dynamic tinker, it's just, it looks weird, okay. Well, we might get some decent cells out of this. So what is this? No, chem and fidget. That's not what I call decent. I think these are just gonna be chem cells, so whatever. Gelatinous cupola. There we go. Let's see, what do we are now? Antimatter cells, here we go. Small cube, that's a radio-powered antimatter cell. That's even better. Let's take all of these apart. We're going to take nuclear cells. Disassemble that. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, folks. We're cooking. At this point, I might treat chem cells as scrap. Oh, we have so many chem cells. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. So, we have eight antimatter cells. That's going to last us for a long time. Um... Let me see. Metered antimatter. High capacity chem cell. We don't need that stuff. Alright. Don't need fidget cells. You know what? We don't need combustion. Radio part chem cell. That's nice, but no. So let's just keep antimatter and nuclear. Let's just take apart most of these chem cells. We're just going to keep a few of them around. They can be kind of useful for like... But we can also just use nuclear cells for that. But... They can be kind of useful if you need to quickly recoil to somewhere or something. But we really don't need to lug all of these around. Okay. You know that? I mean, that's the, the useful thing with the dynamic turret tinkers. You have to be careful because they can build turrets that can trip you up big time. But, uh, and they will build turrets that can trip you up big time. But you can also get some really good cells out of them. And the stuff that we're using at this point, how? This is still fresh, yeah. For the night sight interpolators to be able to use them properly, you do kind of need antimatter and, or at least nuclear cells. Otherwise, they will just drain far too quickly. It takes a lot of power, and also for like the better guns, you know. Since we do not go, we're not going with electrical generation. This run, we're not doing any of that. Um, Flashbang Mark III, that's nice. Since we're not doing any of that, although we might try to get some electrical generation down the line, I don't know whether that's gonna work out or not, but, uh, you know, we're not working with jacked weapons. 
We are actually dependent on power cells to use them. Okay. Hmm. Does this go anywhere? No. Either we're gonna have to dig or we're gonna have to jump down. Let's oh, Jesus Christ. Oh no. Okay. Well. Time for some pickaxing. Not, not trinket. Tools. Pickaxe. Here we go. A. K. Oh, let's go here. Oh, we heard a gelatinous anti prison through the through the wall, so we can't just keep digging. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, no, don't activate them again, please. <laughs> Did the wrong thing. Uh, let's dig. Automatically, that's always better. Yeah, 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 almost. Come on. Dig, friend, dig. This bugged. Why is it still lightly damaged? Now it's damaged, okay. Crikey. All right, here we go. So we have a gelatinous anti-prison. Need to be careful not to get an evil twin, but that worked out. Okay. All right. Good. 27 strata deep. We could... I'm not going to go to 30, but we might go to like 29 or something. We might get some good stuff there. But I need to be really careful with this character at this point. I'm not so strong that I can just take on everything that we find there. What was that? Oh, it was just a giant amoeba. There's some fun stuff here. Let me see. Strange tubes. That's a powered exoskeleton. Hmm. Let's disassemble it. What is this? Slimy armor. Oh, it's a thermal cask. Yeah, that makes sense. Disassemble. That's another thermal cask. The Murmur's Prayer. Let's pick that up. We have a flawless crystal battle axe. So that's our first flawless crystal item. But not something that we're going to use, really. Because we're not about the axes. We're about the, the daggers. Okay. What are you doing over there? Why are you... Oh, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Okay. You have fun over there, sure. Oh no, there's a Templar with a phylactery. Let's kill that guy. Level 29, here we go. Are you friendly? Yes. You are. Kaw Kaw Kaw, the troubadour, Merry White Ash. Hated by the Hindron of Bela. Hated by the Cult of Oromasp. Okay. Well, that is something. Um, I might not do the water ritual with you. I mean, birds is fun, but... Okay, there's another... Oh! And that's probably a field magnet. Yeah. Cool thing is, the field magnets don't take everything anymore. Like, they used to just rip everything from your body and you lose everything that you have in your inventory that is made of metal. Not the stuff that you are actually have that you actually have equipped, which is good, but you know. But now they will just take some things, not everything. And that's pretty good. That's pretty good. So we're just going to leave the ashes over there. And you are the basilisk. Yeah. Oh, well we took a decent bit of damage there.
You feel stiff as a stone, but not anymore. Uh, where's the campfire? Oh, there it is. Okay. Let's do that. We're inspired. We should probably make some new... Some new meals. Okay. Uh, uh, does this go anywhere? Yes, it does. I hope at least. Oh yeah, there we go. The saps, you always want to... Oh, it's Wardham Hatching. I didn't even see that. Okay. The saps you always kind of want to kill from afar so that you don't get your stuff sapped. They permanently can they can permanently reduce your attributes, which is usually like it very rarely happens. But you know, just kind of don't want that to happen. Okay, that was that. So there's some mechanists here, just hanging out. We can basically build. We have so many phasic power systems at this point, and scrap metal. We can build all the dread uh, all the self injectors. I'm just going to quickly do that so that we get rid of all of them. Okay, that's it for the dread tubers. Good. Could probably create some congealed self again, and there we go. That's another dread tubers. An another dread tuber. Tuber. Cuba, which is like a potato or something, probably, right? Is a put isn't a potato a tuber? Okay. Oh, oh, we got quartz baboons, which will reflect some damage, but not as much as like the mirror bugs do. Just good. What's going on here? Oh. Let's do. Oh. Do I still have stuff in here? Okay. Still an antimatter cell. Nuclear cell is still full. Yeah, the, the handrail really drains a lot faster than the other one. Okay. Um, let's do that. Am I recording? Yes, I am. And let's do pickaxe. Dig. Ooh. Okay, that doesn't really go anywhere. Oh no, we're gonna have to dig some more. That's why I don't like being in trouble with these guys down here. It just takes forever to get out sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, the animations are kind of bugged. They still appear on the on the original one. All right. Yes. Tube has an instrument that goes. Doom, doom, doom. Yeah, it's like the. It has a very low. Boom, 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 boom. Something like that, right? That's what a tuba does. It's like the big. The big brass thing. I like tubers, they're fun. They sound great. Tuber! Yeah, well, and a catch basin. Oh, there's some fresh water in here. How much do we have? Oh, we're still fine. By the time we're gonna run into trouble with water, we're going to be long out of here, so it doesn't really matter. Okay. Remove that. And get the obsidian crease going. I would like some better weapons. You know, at least some crystal or something. Let's let's see whether we can find some better daggers or something. Ah, doesn't really... There's nothing really here. Yeah, this is just a dead end, isn't it? Oh, yeah, okay, well, that was a whole lot of nothing. Then we could probably dig into another area or something, but uh, yeah. Also, hello, cool man. Forgot to say, forgot to greet you properly. Okay, we're going to 
You're just going to have fun over here. It's just a flock of birds. Which is nice. I like that. Yeah, this is a better way to go. So, we have a rocket turret tinker. Which I'm not a fan. Can I take it out? No, I just lost sight. Okay, we might go down here. See? They permanently drained the giant amoeba's life by a few points. That's something you don't want to happen. Okay. Yeah, there's all the rocket turrets. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, oh, jeep, jeebus, 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 jeebus. Okay. Need to be careful about rocket turrets. Okay. For some reason... I think that just randomly hit another life sap or something. Don't know why we got that much XP otherwise. Okay. Thermal Miner Mark 3. Yes, indeed. Okay. So. There's a thing in the, in the Twitch dashboard where there were... On the top there, there's a thing that tells you how many views you have. Which doesn't really mean much in Twitch. So they are... ...removing that. But right now, it just says nothing and there's a little... ...triangle with an exclamation mark on it. And I always think, okay, something's going wrong, I need to do something. I don't. Right? It just it just tells me that the thing is going to go away soon. But I hate that they're kind of it's a bad UI thing. Okay, there's some stuff going on down there. Oh We dropped down to twenty-nine. Okay. First of all, let's sprint away. Oh yeah, there's something going on here. Okay, well, yeah. I think what happened there is that the Fulcrete catapult created a hole at the bottom of the stairs, so we just dropped down immediately one further, which could have been a problem. Okay, we're level 29. We're definitely not going to go deeper than this, because that is just asking for trouble. Okay, we're going to get heightened hearing. I'm definitely going to... I'm definitely going to... Uh, put some points into that. That might become quite useful. Oh dear. Okay. Well, let's duck behind the wall. So we don't get in trouble with those rocket turrets. But down here at level 29, things can begin getting a little dicey. But we can also find some cool stuff if we... Oh. All right. Let's rest up. You see a void. It's just a voider. Can you please? Okay. Alright. Cook from a recipe. Uh, no, that's the psychometry one. We should also do that. Come on, kill that voider. Thank you. Alright. Okay. We're not going to go to 30, I think. Because 30... There's the stairs to 30. I think that might be a bad idea. Yeah. That's the good thing about the sleep gas. Sleep gas is good stuff. Sleep gas generation. I mean, it doesn't help you against, like... Robots and stuff that don't... that doesn't breathe, right? But... Still. Maybe these are just laser turrets, right? I think our armor is too good at this point to even get damaged by them. Okay, and let me treat chem cells as scrap now. Alright, good. What is this? Oleshia, the famed meteorite. Hmm. I'm the same. Okay. Oh, there's some more dread roots. I don't know. Just for shits and giggles at this point. Okay, 
Oh, there's a... Uh, I think that's the... Yeah, it's a psionic flawless crystal dagger. Not what I'm looking for. I'd like a non-psionic flawless crystal dagger. Well, you know, we're getting closer to what we want. So that's good. Okay. Hey, buddy. Ah, we got another sky bear. Ooh, and a rocket turret tinker, which will probably blow up the thing anyways. Okay. Oh, and a Templar. And a gelatinous anti-prism. Okay, there's that. Who are you? Knight Commander. That's good. Sleep gas. We'll stand for the turn, not a fan of that. But we're okay. Yeah, we have proper AV. Oh, there's a phylactery. Let me see, Knight Commander. You have credits. Not much else. Okay, that's fine. Oh, the phylactery score. The phylactery guy is old. Yeah. Okay. Let me just quickly... You're still coming after me. Where's your guy? Where's your... G oh, shit. Oh, dear. This is not good. You're still coming after me? No. All right. Good. We need to kill the guy with the uh, with, uh, phylactery. There you are. So let's sprint over here. Where are you? Where are you? Uh, there's the guy. There you are. Oh shit, what am I doing? What am I doing? I'm in trouble now. What am I even doing? Can I sprint? No, I can't. <laughs> That's gonna be a problem. I always forget, I usually play fast characters with multiple legs. And now I am not. Oh, cracky. Yeah, maybe dealing with a oh, with a whole ass Templar group is not a bad, not a good idea at this point. Okay, please don't come after me. No, you don't. Oh. You're resting because you're hungry. Okay. All right. All right. We're gonna try whether we can whittle this down a little bit. Where's that campfire? There you are. I should maybe, I should probably not engage, but it's sort of, I should not engage. Okay, that's the Gunner Knight Templar, good. Freeze grenade, what is this? Grenade launcher, okay. It's a symbol, it's an Eigen rifle. Disassemble. Disassemble. Okay. Oh, oh. Oh no, I'm oh I'm I'm very stuck in there. Shit. Okay. Need to keep my calm, and we need to do this properly. First of all, it's time to take one of our seven billion... self injectors Oh no. Okay, that didn't do much. It reacted adversely. I'm gonna need to try this again. We don't have... Okay, that did work this time. Okay, so that. Let me see. What? It, hmm. Okay, we have Freeze Mark Two. We can build Freeze Mark Three. So I'm going to take that. Going to freeze you in place. 
kill you. That's the new father done. That's the implanted knight commander done. Very good. I'm going to slowly whittle this down. Okay, that's you done. Where's the boss? Where is the boss? Okay. Ah, oh, there's another guy. He has the the electric gun thing, which is not good. Oh, oh it, that's you. That's already you, huh? Nope. Okay, we need to use another salve. Sleep gas. You're injured now. Yeah, we're doing it. We're doing it. Hated by villagers by the acidic water church. Okay. Fuck you, Templars. Stupid. But we are. We're doing it. Okay. Good. Here we go. Stun for the turn. Uh, that's fine. Okay, you have a bunch of stuff. That's a hover sled. Mm. Portable wall. Eat us nectar. Oh yeah, hello there. Motorized treads. That's the arc winder. I'm going to get that. I want that arc winder. That's an ontological anchor. I'm going to get that as well. That's a nano neuro animator. Okay, let's see. Portable wall, portable wall, hover sled. I might not use the hover sled actually. I'm not gonna use the hover sled, that's fine. But everything else is pretty good. The Eater's Nectar is what I'm really after. Okay. Since I can't use Sphinx Salt, we should probably just use the Eater's Nectar and not cook with it. Also, since... You know what? Our, our gloves act as an ontological anchor as well, so I should maybe... We don't need the ontological anchor, so Schema Soft Implant... Night Vision Implant... Carbide handbone implant. Okay, we're going to drop that because we don't really need that. Um, however, the eater's nectar. Right. Also, I need to build some grenades. I definitely need some. To build some grenades to be able to better deal with this kind of stuff. It's stupid that I didn't have them. In any case, let me see. Arcwinder, right. Arcwinders are pretty good. And this is just a normal Arcwinder. That's a better Arcwinder. Uh, check that out. That's just a laser pistol. Okay. You know what? Let's use that for the time being, why not? Um, yeah, it has nectar. I'm going to apply in one mutation point. Okay. Good. That's not bad. I'll take it. I hope I won't react adversely to it. And one point of willpower. Okay, um, I'll take it. Why not? Okay, I'm going to put that into heightened hearing, and here we go. That was good. That was that was a good fight. That was a good fight. I've enjoyed this. So, um, 
We're gonna build a few of these freeze grenades Mark III. And maybe a few of these high explosive grenades Mark III. And I'm also... Let me go down. We're go just going to take apart a bunch of the grenades that we don't need. Like the Mark I stuff. I think that's a Mark I grenade as well. Flashbang Mark III, yeah, let's keep that. Okay, this happened to be airfoil. That's sometime, that will sometimes happen. And let's use the freeze grenade for the time being, and let's continue. Okay, so. So far, everything's good. Bio scanning bracelet. Obviously, that's a drained cell. I'm just going to put one of the nuclear cells in it. Why not? Okay, there is the Sky Bear still in there, which is good. All right, there's a few gentling masks. It's always just creepy shit. Okay, you blew up? I think so. Yeah. Oh, reinforced flawless crystal shard mail. That is pretty good, actually. That's a pretty cool thing. Um, silver nugget, and finally a crystal dagger. So, yeah. Let's just use that for the time being. Slowly getting there, slowly getting to level 30. And then it's time to finally get out of the underground. It's been kind of a long one again, but that's okay. Yeah, and the character is kind of okay. It's not, um, like just in terms of sort of effectiveness in the late game, the other one that I have been using, the electrical generation character, is much better. But this is still pretty fun. And I do kind of like having the carapace and that kind of stuff to be able to... Yeah. Yeah, we're probably not gonna get Tinker 2 anytime soon. Should not have done this. Flawless crystal boots. These are better. Here we go. Awesome. Well, time to dig. It's always time to dig. Huh? I'm stuck. Why am I stuck? Oh, yeah. Okay, there were like. Was like. All right. Tools. It's kind of good to know that I can, right, like this is just a generic preset character and I can take this character to this, to this stage. That's pretty decent in terms of, um, in terms of that. A pretty survivable character for the start, you know, because of the carapace. Hello, what, why? Can you please dig? Is that bugged? Well, let's just wait and see what happens. Like, that happened before. And usually it shouldn't take this long, right? No, there we go.
Let's see what happens. We'll just just take forever because you're hungry. Huh? And eat something. Just whip up a meal. Come on. Will take forever until we are out of here. I oh, know. Now this works. For some reason, sometimes from likely damage to damage takes forever. I, I'm not sure why that is. Ooh, 125? <laughs> Am I taking damage? No. Stop digging. This is a gelatinous cube. The problem with this is that uh, no, we can't just dig. This on the A takes a lot of turns. Okay, here we go. All right, finally out of there. Okay. Hey, booster bot, stop boosting. Thank you. You're gonna teleport me back in here? Yes, you are. Okay. <laughs> and die immediately. That's just a pitiful performance. Okay, let me let me see. What do we have here? These are statues, huh? Rifle turret, tinker, two-headed ball. Okay, somebody was having a fun time down here, sculpting things. Like that is specifically a rifle turret, tinker. Okay, Thermal Miner. Before level 30, that still gets you a lot of XP. Like Miners with um, Mark 3. Here we go, yeah, that's still 700 something. We're getting there, we're almost, we're almost there, folks. We're almost there. Just a few more things to murder. All right, let's check this out. Oh, there's another field magnet, I, th I think. Yes, there is. It's rusted. Oh, but it still does its thing. Just took my basic toolkit, which is fine. I don't mind that. I think I have a few. Okay, there's a rusted area. That's not very fun, so we're just going to keep going. Hey. Add some sleep gas to it. Here we go. Yeah, nice. Oh no. <laughs> I let myself. I let myself get in here again. Quartz folk, look. Give us a bunch of resistances, but also minus one on DV, which doesn't really matter all that much at this point. Ogre for cloak, that's just... Oh, that's heat and cold resistance, and toughness. Okay, wait, um... I'm gonna use the ogre... the ogre... thing. <laughs> okay, let's dig. Let's dig. Let's spend all day digging. You know? Let's just imagine we're playing Minecraft or something. Okay, there's a spider there. Famished. Okay, I do have some exotic stuff. Yeah, right. Yonder cane. Voider glands, some luminous horseshoe, yuckweed. Okay, there we go. Let's dig over there. Oh, I didn't actually cook. I should probably just do that without a fucking meal, will you? Okay, so. Peeps. 
We're still digging. Yay, we're out. I hope this is enough. It might not be. Yes, it is enough. Good. Oh, that's a memory eater. Oh. So, how about you? Don't eat my memories. Ah, shit. Spoiler. They ate my memories. I hope... Can you actually forget this stuff? I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay. Memory eaters become very common in the deeper underground. And they still occur like 50 strata deep, stuff like that. Uh, and they are one of the most common enemies down there. Oh. Ooh. That's red gel. They are lava jellos. Merely clicks. Oh dear, we need to reload the handrail. Um, let's just put that in, I guess. Oh. Burned away. Shoot that thing. Here we go. All right. Red jellos. Here we go. Let's wait so we can sprint again. Oh, you know what? I don't want to actually be there. I'm not looking to get itchy skin. I don't know, actually. Memory eaters. Like, what's bad? I don't know what would be a bad thing that you can know in this game. It's usually like map stuff or like Sultan history stuff, I believe. Like stuff that would be in your journal. Or like locations of things. I'm not sure. Okay, we're close to leveling up. Let's kill a bunch of these cupolas. I think one more battle and that's gonna be it. There we go. Level 30. Time to get out of here. Before we do that, let me check this. So yeah, just gonna go with heightened hearing for the time being. Also, we have a bunch of stuff here. I might just get dual wield. Let's get dual wield. Why not? You know, have some flurry. Um. Why can't I map a key to that? For some reason it doesn't work. Ah, Flurry. So we're going to put Flurry on this. And for some reason my Enter key doesn't work anymore. That's quite strange, but fine. All right. Quickly just explore this map. No, there's nothing here. Um, let's get out of here. It's time to finally get out of the underground. Feels good. But yeah. Okay, where is it? Where's my stuff? Where's my stuff? Have I lost my things? No, I haven't. Joppa recoiler. Okay, good. So, let's quickly go to Joppa. Let's see what Argive has. Freezing polarized. I think that's glasses. Freezing not really interested in that. Symbiotic firefly. You know what? I'm going to buy a symbiotic firefly. That's for insect reputation. If we go to the very, very deep underground, we would want that, actually. We're not relying on that for seeing. We just want that for the reputation. Um, see, something like that. Gets us a bunch of water again, which is fine. All right. Yeah, symbiotic fire. I'm like, good. Ah, that's that's great, actually. So let's get the lover's blossoms. And with that, we can build a few Uber Nostrum injectors. Three, to be precise. 
Okay. Anything else we have here? Nope. Anything you have? You don't. Obviously not. They never have. Okay, let me see. So we're going to drop this. Crystal boots. What do I have? Flawless crystal boots. Okay, that's why. Drop that. That stuff is too heavy to be lugging around. What is this? Gas tumbler. What did this do? Ooh, this might actually not be that bad. Um, because we are releasing gases. It's 100% denser, disperse 75% slower. This might actually be good. This might actually be good. Also, um, a bunch of folks have followed me. Last fest, thank you for that, and thank you, Serial Serial. 39 for the follow. Okay. Sorry, I didn't properly look and see that happen. Okay. Gas tumbler. Uh, this might be pretty good. It's another thing that will drain battery, though, but we're going to hold on to that. 20 pounds, we can carry that. That's okay. Um, we have a drained antimatter cell. Okay. Grenades. Yeah, that is fine. Bunch of floating glow spheres and a symbiotic firefly. That is good. Let's drop, like, these. We have still have a Witchwood Bark. And the, the Urberry is better, because it will not confuse us, I believe. So that's okay. Oh yeah, we have a bunch of guns. We don't need that jacked Eigen Rifle. Um, yeah, let's disassemble it. It's fine. We're doing pistols. That's a laser pistol. But yeah, the handrail does kind of tear through. Why is there a biodynamic cell in there? I'm not even sure why not. It does kind of tear through those cells, doesn't it? Okay. In any case, I think we are good. We have some cloning draft. Need to have. Need to. Think about some somebody we can clone with that. Also, we don't need the. We have an advanced toolkit. If if you don't have it powered, it works like a basic toolkit anyway, so it doesn't matter. Grid gate recoiler. I think we should probably just go to Ezra and get it over with. Let's go to Ezra. Let me quickly check. What you all have. Pistol. Oh dear. Small trinket. Yeah, you can get some good guns here usually. Taco Suprema. Flawless Crystal. Mm. Yeah. Thing is, don't know what it is. So, whatever. Okay, these are all implants. Okay. Alright. So, let's do the Omen Porch thing. We're going to do it diplomatically. We're going to get the factions here. The trusted factions. Hey, y'all. How can I appease you? Convene the council. Oh yeah, you can be, if you are loved by the Consortium of Fighter, you can also... I wonder if this will also trigger the attack on Grid Gate. Probably, right? I think they all do. But let's convene the Council in three days. So in three days we will have a bunch of folks here. Um, the question is, what are we going to do until then? We could go to the Deep Jungle and have a bit of fun there. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Probably not. Um... We could go and check out this historic site. Should we do that? Let's do that. We need to be careful with the historic site. They can be they can be rough. No matter what. So, uh, a lair? Which which lair is this? 
Legendary baboon. Oh. That's nice. Oh. If we were running a companion build, these guys we would want to have. Loved by baboons, hated by cannibals, admired by Dutum, hated by apes. We're going to get uh, some reputation out of this, maybe. We're not favored by apes. Nice. Even though I'm wearing an ape cloak. Hated by beetles, apes, hermits. Very good. I'm into that. So we're just going to murder a few baboon... Hermits, apes, beetles. Let's gain some favor with some factions. These baboon groups are good. Again, these baboons I make for very... Like the baboon, the baboon bosses there. Oh dear, it really slows down my computer, Jesus Christ. But those baboon bosses, uh, they make for good companions. Because they start... If they haven't nerfed that, but I don't know. Probably still do. Because they start on a low level and they have high stats. So, admired by fish. Mm, hated by succulents, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Let's get into trouble with fish. We're now despised by fish. Um, but succulents like us more. Nice. Yeah, I'm gonna do a bit of a baboon massacre here. I'm quite sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Take a look at that. Oral Masp. Okay. Alright. Let's see. Any more baboonery around here? Quickly auto explore. There's more. There's more. This is pretty good. This will give us some reputation. Hated by arachnids. Disliked by the children of Mammon. Okay, fun. Uh, this will not be enough to be in any way. Yeah. We're not just disliked by the children of Mammon. Children of Mammon hate everything. You don't know. Disliked by arachnids. Okay. It would be fun to not be in trouble with the voiders anymore. You know, it makes a few things a bit easier. Or well, not easier, but less annoying, so you don't get teleported to the stupid zones as much. Okay. Alright. Yes, this is the stairs down. There's probably more boons down there, so... Uh, we're gonna go there. Nano pneumatic jackhammer. Who needs that? Nobody needs that. Okay, let's go down. We're quickly gonna explore this lair. <laughs> yeah, we have a few days to kill, so. Yes. Oh, that's very good. Hated by the villagers of Bikage, hated by urchins and snapjaws. Good. And you? Disliked by the children of Mammon again. Okay. Bikish went up. We're now disliked by snapjaws. Disliked by urchins. You know? Slowly building some reputation here. And baboons hate us so much now. <laughs> baboons just hate our guts. Because, you know, we're kind of massacring a whole bunch of them, you know? We're kind of doing a horrible thing here, so of course they hate us. That hatred is very deserved, if I might say so. Like, look at what we're doing here. We're just walking into the lair and just... ugh. It's horrific, actually. 
Seven Ring Baboon. Ikakish. Dislike by Tromad Merchants. Nice. Dromad Merchants, not Tromad Merchants. Hey, Fridge Makar. I can't see your name properly because it has bad color. Fridge Makara. A game you've never survived more than two days in. Ah. It is possible. Okay, what's going on? Okay, let me see. It's like by the Farmer's Guild. Okay, oh yeah, there's some good reputation we can get out of this. Okay, there's at least two more. A Boon Riddler. Yeah, it just goes down and down and down. <laughs> I equally wrong. Uh, I only play permadeath. I've never played any of the other modes, actually. I don't know. I started playing this game, like, many years, many, many years ago, when there was only permadeath mode, so... It's just what I, what I got used to, and, uh... Ooh. Wait. Oh no, that was just, like, some implants. <laughs> I got kind of decent at the game over over time, with a lot of help by commenters and chat and stuff like that. But yeah, my by cat, I'm disliked by cats. Okay. Cats are no indifferent to me. That's nice. <laughs> Isn't that always with cats? Bet you're playing with mutants. True kin tank with tinkering and gun abilities. You know, like... Like, this is... In, around stealth. Yeah, that, that, that doesn't really work. True kin tank, yeah. I mean... That is kind of true, but you can also build super powerful mutant characters. Um, I only play mutants and... or generally only play mutants, and my best runs were mutants, right? Like, I took a mutant to 100 strata deep in the, in the underground, stuff like that. Um, there's no... Yeah. I don't know. I don't like playing Trukin. It's, it's the thing. Okay, that's actually already it here. But some of the things you need... Like, whatever you build your character around, that's one of the things you'll learn at some point. Um, which is... You need a good, reliable way of doing damage. Right? You need something that you can just rely on, that you can always use to, make, to do damage. So, um, there are some things that are good for that, and some things that are not so good for that, right? So, um, things with large cooldowns are not so good for that. Um, for example. So, it's always good if you are just good at melee fighting, for example, or good at using guns, for example, right? <laughs> Slax notes, yeah. Slax notes can, like, in the very early going, they can really kill you. You have to... Try to engage them in melee, then they are basically helpless. So, if you see a slug node, you know, you have to kind of cheese it a little bit. Um, just uh, use stairs, for example. Go up the stairs, just wait for them to come. Stuff like that. That will try to get them in melee. Alright, okay, so now that we're done with this... Um, it will probably still be a few days. Yeah, yeah, they can shoot you. But you can then kill them. <laughs> That's the difference. Okay. So the strongest character I've ever built is a mutated character with... Okay, so we have this here. We have turret tinkers. Yeah, okay, then, then that's fine. Which turret tinkers are they? Low light laser. Okay, there might be stronger ones. Okay. Um, is a mutated human with electrical generation and swiping. 
because uh, that means you can use the high-end rifles basically indefinitely without having to power them, and that's incredible. And multiple legs, because it makes you really fast, so you can just run around, you have incredible quickness and incredible move speed, and you can just run away from everything and just shoot everything with the best weapons in the game, so... So that's fun, you know? Stuff like that. You can do like weird shit with this game. Once you learn how to do it, you can really break the game as well. Which is cool. Oh, that's a laser rifle. I think we've... Um... Okay, oh, that's a lead acid sun. We didn't have that yet. Okay, cool. Not the combustion cell. Like that. Okay. So this is... Oh, what was that? Arc work. Okay. Interesting. Um, I don't think I fought these before. They might be relatively new enemies. This might be an interesting historic site. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. I mean, we need to... We need to kill some time before the... Thing at Oman Porch convenes the council. So... Why not, right? I don't like all the kudzus around here. That's a bit annoying. But that's fine. But yeah. Yeah, maybe Trukin is easier to start out with. You might be right with that, but I don't know. I just never played Trukin. <laughs> I don't... I never clicked with that. Can't remember shit. Yeah. Also probably a case of how much you... Oops, what am I doing? You know, like if you stop playing for a month and then you get back in, it becomes a bit weird, you know, to remember stuff. The thing with me is, like, with this game specifically, I've played so much of it at this point that... <laughs> oh, you know. I played so much of it at this point that... nothing really. That it doesn't really leave my brain anymore. Okay, so we have horns at 16 at this point, which is very good. Um, that gives us 6 AV on the helmet slot, which is incredible, actually. And 2D11... How much does the penetration scale up? Let me see. Horns up to 10 at this point yeah that's the one weakness of this build is we don't have a lot of you really don't have a lot of strength so we can't make the most out of the horns right like now having the arc winder and the handrail Oh, my left arm is dismembered. Now it has happened, okay. I mean, we have a bunch of Uber Nostrum injectors, so... Whatever. Just need to pick it back up, actually. There's my left arm. Okay. I'm gonna deal with this stuff first. Yeah, I need to I need to not engage with that stuff in melee. This is stupid. Okay. We have a bunch of Ubernosum injectors. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. One arm. It's just one arm. Okay. Like we can build these at this point. Problem is the lover's blossoms are not that easy to find. 
They have a pretty low chance of dropping. What have I been using? The Vibro Kopesh, I believe, and the Handrail. Okay. This is a very... This is not easy to navigate. This historic site. Okay. Um, yeah, that's scrap fidget cells. We're also going to treat these as scrap. We just don't need it. We just don't need that stuff anymore. We've progressed past it. What did I do? Oh, that was a plastronoid. Okay, good. Okay. All right. All these laser turrets. We can just tank these at this point. Like our AV is high enough and health is high enough that it just doesn't really matter. Same for the chain guns. The chain gun to the face can be an issue early in the game, but at this point, nah. Okay. Yeah, we're getting a lot of books here, which is good. Um, since we're level 30, we could actually think about, maybe it's 35, but we could actually think about going to the library at the six day stilt and uh, handing in those books. Okay, nothing in that, okay, sure. Quickly do auto exploration. I think we, we are mostly done here. That's my arm down there. I still haven't cooked with my other arm. I've lost an arm before in this run. An arm before in this run, Jesus Christ. Basic English, Jay. Do you know how to talk it? Um, yeah, so... The salt chips. Mmm, sounds delicious. Okay, so what do we have? We have a waveform worm. There's a whole lot of holographic shale here. Can we go through this? Yes, we can. Oh, there are a lot of waveform worms. And a lot of tinkerers. Oh dear, okay. First of all... Yeah, what was that again? I forgot. Where was that from? I'm blanking on it right now. I definitely do not speak American, but... Oh, those were just low-light laser turret tinkers. I, I thought they might have been rocket turret tinkers, but that wasn't the case. A stupid meme, okay. Probably from something, right? Usually those memes are just adapted from something. Okay. Juice saps. I hate juice saps. How much has our stuff been sapped? Let me just quickly check. Can we still have it drained? Okay. One antimatter cell. Mm. Nah, it's fine. Okay. Let's quickly get rid of these because. Whatever. Should I? Let's disassemble that one. You know? At some point, we're gonna need some uh, some meta crystals, the highest tier of tinkering bits. Since we're not using items for armor, we don't need to tinker that much, but it's still useful. Okay, all right. No, those are low-light laser turrets. The low-light laser turrets tinkers and the rocket turret tinkers look the same, which is distressing. But uh, yeah, it's not that high level, so it's good. We are, we are fine. We are fine. Just need to be careful about the juice saps. Not because it's dangerous, because it's uh, annoying. If you get your cells drained. Okay. Oh, and there's oh. The rate of loss of weight. Why is it... It has a... I think it's just random. They can have a color. I don't know what I... I actually do know that. I've been streaming for too long today. My brain is just... Smoothing out. You know? The longer I go, the smoother the brain. That's how it goes. 
Snare mother, stay here. Come on. Can you stop? There we go. Alright. Um What did I want to do? I wanted to make some food. Okay, which one? We're just going to use the basic recipe. Here we go. Oh, juice up. I hate you. Ah, don't sap my juices. I've just... That was just stupid. I'm just not taking care enough, you know? And I'm like, oh, this is a low-level area. It's... I don't need to care. But you do. You do need to care. Otherwise, nonsense happens to you. Okay. So, we have so many books. That's pretty good, actually. We're going to go to the, to the six-day stilt, and we're going to cash in a lot of these books. Um, just a bunch of garbage. Why are you not auto-picking? Oh, because we see that guy through the walls. Okay. Anomaly extinguisher. They also blew up, blow up, but I don't think it does much. It's just like null gas and some damage. Upturned and corpse. That's an interesting name. All right, here we go. So, ah, there's the stairs down. Fantastic. Let's just quickly do an auto exploration to clear out this map. All right, still more. All these low light laser turrets. They can't even penetrate the armor at this point. It's fine. Okay. I wonder what kind of artifact we're going to find here. I mean, this is like a mid-level historic site, so... I wonder if we're going to get something nice. It would be nice to get something nice. Ah, you cloned me. The spy who cloned me. And we have two clones. And a rocket turret. Now things are getting a bit more dicey. Okay, 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 don't dis... Okay. Ah. Yeah, the clones, that can be an issue. That can be an issue. Mm. Yeah, I got juked there. Oh, I, I have three health. What the fuck am I doing? And I'm dead. Fuck me. I did not spend sufficient attention. And I'm dead. That's it for this run. I got killed by my own clone because I'm... I'm a dumbass. I think I streamed too long for today. And, uh, you know, attention span went down. So, we scored 320,000 points. We were level 30, 87,000 turns. Nightside interpolators that I built on my own <laughs> are the most advanced artifact. And that's it. And that's death. Save and reload should be a thing. You can do that, but we're playing with permadeath, so we're going to have to live with that. Okay, high scores. Dale Earnhardt is still the best, the best, still number one in my high score list. Level 35. You know, Shwirok went up to 40. Still, my best run is this one here. Level 45, Mutated Human Classic, 100 strata deep. Yeah. I think we need to delete the character. I still can't, I still can't. Ah, oh, I, st I still can't. I still can't. Bring myself to do it. Okay, I think that's enough Caves of Cud for today. Thanks everybody for watching. That was a lot of fun. 
Thanks for all the follows and for hanging out in the chat. Let me go through. Thank you, cool man. Thank you, Fridge Makara. Thank you, Serial Serial. Mephisto Agony and Cami Damage. Um, yeah, that's gonna be it for today. And uh, see you again next time. So uh, again, I'm going to announce my streams in the Twitch schedule thing. So if you want to check when I'm going to stream again, you can find that there. Otherwise, yeah. Have a good day. Bye bye.